Hello, welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to show you how to create boning. In Clo 3D, there's no direct function or tool you can use to make boning. So you would have to use other functions to substitute. Here I have made an outfit design with corset top and hoop cage petticoat skirt. I used internal lines to create all the boning pieces and froze the under layer parts. This way I am simulate only on the boning pieces. As you can see, the petticoat skirt is falling and draping on the body because it's in a knit fabric material right now. Let me start with the corset part which is pretty simple. When making boning. The first thing I will do is to add thickness to the patterns. Then go to fabric folder in library and add trim and hardware material to the object browser. Apply the material to all the corset boning patterns to stiffen them. Click simulate. You can see the corset became harder and straighter. For the corset. I don't need to do much for the boning since it's already pretty fitted and it doesn't need much extra to make it stiffer. You can add top stitching details to the boning. And there, I am done with the corset. Moving on to the petticoat skirt part. First, select all the skirt pattern pieces and assign trim and hardware material to them. Click simulate and you can see the skirt started to raise up a little. Next, I will select all the pieces again and go to Property Editor. Turn on Bond Function. And choose Reinforcement Pocket Bone. Simulate again. This time the skirt raised up even more. When you use Bond, you will see the selected pieces in 3D window will turn yellow color. When you are in Render, it will not show yellow when you turn on bond function. However, when you record animation, it will show. To turn it off, simply just go to 3D window toolbar. Under trim display, turn off bone scythe, and it will solve the issue. The next step. I am going to strengthen all the petticoat pieces. Click simulate. And the skirt went up a little more. However, it still doesn't look like a hoop cage petticoat. The last thing that will do the trick is to use pressure. Select all the skirt pieces and go to property editor under pressure. Increase the amount little by little to make the skirt go up to the height you prefer. Now I like how the petticoat look. I can start adding finishing touch and render the outfit. Here is the render result. By the way, when you strengthen pattern pieces, they change to yellow color just like adding bond. It won't show in render, but it will have the same problem while making animation. However, unlike Bond that you can turn off display from the toolbar. There's no turn off option for strengthen. Here is how you can do to keep strengthen and not showing during animation. First, select the pieces you want to strengthen, right click and choose clone layer under. Select the new under layer pieces, right click and remove linked editing. Make a copy of the material and assign it to the underlay patterns. Right click and strengthen all the pieces. Decrease opacity to zero. 
And there, you will have the strengthen effect to the garment without showing it during animation recording. Using the method, you will be able to create different shapes and styles. Thank you for watching. I hope you find this video helpful. Don't forget to click like and subscribe.